They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. So right now I'm outside the movie theaters because I am about to meet my sister. Just waiting for her to come here because I got the tickets. She um, is actually just getting food because I got my food and ate already. So I'm just waiting on her. Yeah. Don't feel me looking crazy like to stop. Asian, don't. Get your. Get your. Get your. Get your. Get your. Why do we have to Asian, wait until the last minute to do all of this stuff? You should have been eight three hours ago. Make me late for everything. Get your butt on there. Go in. No. Go in. No. Well, film me going in. Okay. Did you hit play? It's already going. Oh, we'll go. Jesus. You my phone back. How long am I going to be out? Because I need Just to be in bed soon. Oh, we'll buy like nine. I feel nine, my nine. bones shutting down. You buy nine. Well, you can go to sleep in the car. I don't want to go to sleep in the car. I want to go to sleep in my bed. Oh, I don't like that it gets dark so early. But now. it's getting better now. It's the time is starting to It's warm up. out here. Are we gonna have a uh, um a proper spring? I don't know. I'm just gauging. I mean, gazing upon how Laurel's really trying to be on the come up right now. Asia, this was here when you lived here. This I, all what, of this was what here. What is this place? I, know. I don't know what it <laughs> is. All of this was right here. Oh, Everything. Mission <laughs> Barbecue. Out back. Oh, Out. <laughs> yeah, that's the ugliest tag I've ever seen in my life. That tag? It's like it's been washed by acid. Mm. <laughs> Don't look like it's supposed to be that. Even real. <laughs> it's paper. It's fried paper. <laughs> real hard no paper. DC. Resume paper. What did you think about the movies? I know I want to put it like right here. Um, I thought the movie. No, <laughs> I like the movie. I love the pleasant surprise of my girl. I'm not going to give it away though. Oh. Okay. And I love how the movie talked about communication. Communication. You know, it goes. You can't both just ways. jump. You can't just well, jump into it. Well, you said you got to pivot. So uh, here we go. The movie, she left me and she started using this word pivot, but okay, whatever. So the movie basically had two friends who were basically kind of having a communication issue. And I was able, no, no. <laughs> but basically they were having communication issues, which is very common. Look at this man right here. Which one? Him? He's about to get right, look, you see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Oh, we're going to uh, Greenbelt Mall. So Greenbelt? Yeah, that's the first place. And then we have to go to Largo. Largo! Ebony, I did not. Communication, I actually said, hey, I have to run some errands. We could drop you off at your house. I got to go all the way to Waldorf tomorrow. Then I got to come up here and put your, pick up your dirty laundry. Oh then I got to go to your house and clean. <laughs> and then I got to go <laughs> scrub the <laughs> floors. Really? And scrub the ceilings. Really? <laughs> the ceilings? Mm. Uh -huh. Long nope. story short, I want better lighting, so we're going to do this a little bit later.
right now I'm in my sister's apartment. We're about to fellowship together. Fellowship? We're gonna sing, uh, we're gonna take communion and then we're gonna sing Kumbaya mm -hmm. to bring in the spirit. You really just want me to apologize on camera for what I did earlier. Yes, so let me set the story up. So communication is the foundation for a lot of relationships in your life. Due to the fact that we have different communication styles, sometimes messages aren't received the way they were intended to be received. Um, I'm not gonna show y'all the message she sent because I don't wanna bash her character. But the message she sent was very toxic and very- Really? Well, it was get fighting some words. History. Get some history. Behind. I'm not going to give history because I don't like people in my business. Really? But so you wanted to put my part out, but you won't give them history? I'm not putting your part out. I'm just saying okay. the way I perceived the message, I just thought it was mad corny. Y'all know me. Whatever. You know me. I'm peace, love, and happiness Whatever. over here. And my father would say the same thing about me. I'm not toxic. Yeah, okay. okay. So I'm going to let you say your piece. But first, we got to get her first reaction to Popeye's chicken sandwich. The life's changing. Chicken sandwich that saved my life and motivates me to be a better person every day. I'm not gonna like it. Why are you recording me eating the sandwich? I said I gotta get the first one. Yeah, lick them fingers. Lick them fingers. It's like all right. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you just now trying it. You wanna see how many people are gonna die for? <laughs> <laughs> Ebony calls me passive aggressive. Are you passive aggressive? Ebony calls me passive aggressive. I think Ebony is aggressive. Are you aggressive? I mean, passive aggressive. Yes, it's no shame in my game. I was working that thing. I I admit my passive aggressive ways, but there's a method to madness. I think that my in my nature, I can be very aggressive, but I also understand what you say you can't take back. So therefore, I hold back on what I really want to say because I know I can hurt somebody's feelings. Ebony doesn't care as who's feeling she hurts. That's not true. She just wants to get her point aside. That, that is so not true. There is a line that I don't cross. That's it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? I just felt like a certain situation that we had, she just came on too strong. And I told her, I was like, boo, this approach is mad corny right now. And that's my words verbatim. And she was like, well, I apologize if I'm wrong. <laughs> First of all, ah! long story short, I just think it's interesting how, honestly, I feel like most of our beef, whatever beef we've had in our sister relationship, it always stems from communication. Either a text was sent out and you know, like I said, your intentions wasn't to be disrespectful, but it was perceived as disrespect. And, uh, <clears throat> We're not going to talk about past situations. I don't think that's fair. You try to. Throw I'm not one. talking about past well, situations. Well, no, you say. I'm talking about the situation that happened today. Most of our communications problem has been because you might have sent the text. You just so clearly you're referring to something in the past, which is not quite fair because we're not there and everything has a place. I think that I'm pretty assertive. I'm pretty assertive. And what happened today was very interesting. So I thought they were playing a game on me and I'm like, okay, it's been three, almost four weeks now. Okay, game's up. So I basically said, that's pretty messed up. <laughs> and then I get all these text messages talking about I'm crazy, I'm wrong, I'm this, I'm that, or the other. So my thing is, you're right, there is a way to handle everything. And everything, every approach does not work for everyone. And so, quite honestly, I think I've come a long way with how I communicate. I just, Over like, the I, years. I just plan, I'm fine. Yes, everything is a learn. Uh, I gotta make sure I get my angle right because I'll be looking like <laughs> Mr. Donut Man. I, I, yeah, you didn't worry about my angle. I did get you, girl, I, I always get people's angles. I always get people's angles. I would never have you looking busted on a video. Right. I would look way bu more busted before I have somebody in my videos looking busted. I hope you're still recording this. Uh, I'm recording this myself part. now. But my voice is still there. Yeah. What if I cut you out all your, me. what if I cut out all your <laughs> <laughs> She has come a long way. Everything's a learning, uh, like everything's a learning process. So it's like the more you're invested in someone's life, the more you're gonna learn about their communication style and how they convey messages. And how so, it impacts you. Right, and so with Ebony, even though she thinks I'm referring to past situations, 
what I've learned in the past is that she is to me an aggressive person and I just I just sit in my little corner and I don't do anything. The lies. I don't say anything. The I lies. open my Bible and I say, Lord, please, how can I deal with this situation? The lies. For for no all jokes aside, I've learned how she is or whatever, and that's not a diss. But I just let her do her thing, let her get out. Even though I might think she's smoking crack some days or whatever, I just let her do her thing, and I laugh it off because. And she'll take that as passive aggressiveness, but it's like, at the end of the day, you need to calm down, cool down, and then we can come back and talk about it. Because right now, the hit, you just, you see red, you mad. And I, and to be honest, I didn't know the, I thought it was a joke. That's why I was like, is this a mind game you trying to play? Like, and that's another thing with aggressiveness. I think that you try to accuse people, which I've told you I hate. Don't, y'all, don't hit somebody up and be like, did you do this? And with the intent that they already did it. Like, if you, it's one way. I have not done that in a while. Get that knife out of my face. So you need to stop <laughs> it. We're all different and we all process and receive things differently. And because you are passive aggressive and I think more passive than you are aggressive, for years on end, you never shared with me what things bothered you. And it was because of you bringing certain things to my attention that made me realize my behavior and how I need to treat you or communicate with you, I should say. So I've come a long way in that area because I didn't know previously that the impact it was having on you. I remember there was times I would- um Hit me? You a lie from the pit of hell. <laughs> I would raise my voice just because, you know, I raise my voice always anyway, but if I'm excited, I really raise my voice. And you took that to heart. You're like, well, you know. But I'm like, this is what I do. You I'm know? like, calm your tits. But I'm like, whatever. I'm like, this is what I do. You know? So it was because for years, Asia, you know, she's such a sweet young lady. Ebony, we, don't need my, we don't need my you know, biography, okay? You might go in on me, but when I This ain't Lifetime, who are you? <laughs> Biopic, okay? okay. See how you do? Anyway, I I am passive in nature because like I said, I explained that and I've said you have come a long way and like I said again, I'm gonna say it again. It's a learning process and I'm telling you now. Being yes, I'm recording <laughs> myself, but you can say that I have getting gotten better with approaching you about certain situations and being more upfront uh, about no. how you annoy me. Whatever. Well, you know, you're not perfect, perfect patty. Okay. Let's get that out the way, YouTuber. She's not a perfect patty, like she thinks she is. Hi, my name is Perfect Patty, and I'm perfect. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Um, thank you for listening to this segment of Estrogen Release. My name is Ebo, the artist. I'll make sure to tag her. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>